Sanyabri Power Company Limited is currently studying fish swimming ability to evaluate the effectiveness of a demonstration fish passage facility at the Sanyabri Hydro Power Project in northern Laos. According to Sanyabri Power Company, Deputy Managing Director Lewat Suwarikiti, the Sanyabri Dam will be equipped with a number of fish passage facilities, not just one as in other dams, so it is confident that fish will be able to swim up and down the river after the dam is built. Deputy Minister of Energy and Mines, Virapon Viravong, visited the site on Monday, the 9th of June, accompanied by officials and members of the media. In response to concerns raised by Mekong Commission Committee stakeholders and experts, the initial design of the Sanyabri scheme was modified to incorporate sustainable solutions for local Mekong fish populations to pass through the hydropower dam. An experimental facility with a 24 meters long flume has been built at the construction site to investigate the specific swimming abilities of different species of fish. Usually all the data collected on fish, it's done in laboratory, it means that the fish are coming from uh, fisheries, so it's not wild fish, or they are wild fish but only in few amounts. Three different experimental techniques are being applied to lead species including Bapak Taliang, Hypsibabas Pierre, Patea Parlobukatipus, Padongil Cyclohelithis Rapason, Banyon Nuat Clupisoma Sinens, Basai Huapo Henicohincus Siamensis, and Banyon Hong Kong Cellule Pleurotenia. Some lap can tot long can why nam Hong Pla Nakap, Jakan or Bab, Tila, Hai Me Tang Pla Pan, Hong Kun Sayabulinia. เราได้ให้บริษัทที่ปรึกษาจากสวิตเซอร์แลนด์สองบริษัทมาเป็นผู้ออกแบบแต่ว่าเพื่อให้เป็นการตรวจสอบข้อมูลว่าบริษัทจากสวิตเซอร์แลนด์เนี่ยออกแบบได้ถูกต้องแล้วก็เหมาะสมหรือไม่เราก็จ้างบริษัทจากอังกฤษอีกบริษัทหนึ่งมาแล้วก็ทดสอบดูว่าความสามารถในการว่ายน้ําของปลาที่จะทวนกับแรงความเร็วของน้ำซึ่งอยู่ในช่องทางปลาผ่านเนี่ยจะเป็นยังไง According to Sanyaburi Power Company Limited, engineering consultancy firm Poori Energy was hired to work on the project. Poori Energy then contracted Fish Tech Consulting to evaluate whether Mekong fish would be able to use a fish pass at the run of River Sanyaburi Hydropower Dam. The tests being performed include the velocity barrier test, the burst swimming test and the UMAX method. Tests will be completed in the next few weeks and conclusions about the design will then be made. FishTech is a specialized international fishery consultancy based in Devon, UK. They are a leading British consultancy in evaluating the interaction between hydropower projects and fish. So what we're doing down at the flume is we are we are testing the fish that we are catching from the Mekong and we're testing them to look at how fast they can swim and we're doing two main types of tests. The first test is a behaviour test to take species, introduce them into flume in an area of slow velocity water and see how they then swim up this flume and do they drop back down the flume, do they make multiple attempts to move up and down the flume and how do they do that at different water velocities. So that essentially looks at their behaviour and quantifies their behaviour under different water velocity scenarios. Fish Tech Consulting Technical Director Tobias Ko said, the fish pass design was based on the best practice principles of taking the swimming abilities of fish into consideration when designing fish pass systems, tailoring them to specific species. Here, what we're doing with the data collection in the flume is we're collecting data on the fish swimming ability of Mekong species. So we're taking Mekong species and we're collecting them and we're testing them in a manner that gives us data that we can then use to refine our fish pass design. What that means is that we're not taking generic principles of fish pass design from around the world. We're actually taking those principles and we're utilizing them in combination 
with the raw data on the Mekong fish species. So this fish pass will be designed for the species that are present in the River Mekong, not just a fish pass that's designed based on existing scientific knowledge. So that is absolutely key and absolutely fundamental to any fish pass design and here we've done the same thing and what we've come up with is, I feel, a best practice solution for the problems that we may face here. Fish Tech Consulting Technical Director Tobias Co said, what that means is we are not taking generic principles of fish pass design. This fish pass will be designed for the species that are present in the Mekong River. He said different tests were underway in the stream looking into the behavior of the key fish species at the different water velocities and how they react to obstructions, as well as the pure physiology of the fish and their swimming capabilities. Interim conclusions confirm that a design velocity of about 1.2 meters per second can be used in the main slots of the fish pass. At this speed, most of the fish species require several attempts to enter the flume during the velocity barrier tests. Construction of the 3.5 billion US dollars, 1,285 megawatts Sanyabuli hydropower plant began at the end of 2012 and is now 30% complete. เอ่อการทดลองให้ปลาว่ายน้ําผ่านทางปลาผ่านในการทดลองของเราเนี่ยเราได้เริ่มทํามาตั้งแต่ต้นเดือนพฤษภาคมนะครับเนื่องจากว